Hi, uh, this will be a tutorial about using Webflow for creating HTML based user interfaces. I recommend to, to view another video which we recorded previously about uh, the overall principles behind this approach of creating HTML based user interfaces. So, uh, in this uh, particular video, we will uh, recreating uh, uh, the tutorial chapter called HTML based user interfaces designer approach so uh, for our goal we'll be using uh, a third-party website builder called webflow uh, basically this is uh, uh, an online editor which you can use to um, to successfully create uh, a rather advanced uh, HTML content without uh, uh, learning uh, anything about HTML, CSS or JavaScript. So uh, that's why this uh, tool appears to be very um, very convenient uh, for our goals and we begin by uh, creating a new application as usual and uh, as you can see it's uh, only got one html file and as explained it, it was explained in the previous video we are going to add another html file with uh, two buttons on them which will be uh, hiding and showing uh, back the queue. So uh, let's do it um, by um, yeah. Uh, before before we g we begin with Webflow, uh, it is important to uh, understand that this is a paid tool. Uh, something good. Uh, all this uh, all this costs some money. Well being blender is exception of course uh, so um, oh, here we got uh, some pricing plan basically we are interested in the account plans here either individual or team uh, uh, the reason is that uh, we can only use um, a paid version uh, because only paid version has uh, the export card features which we um, which is required for this tutorial so um, basically we log into our account uh, and I already tried to, to to do this tutorial so I just delete our really awesome project just delete it. Uh, try again. Delete forever. So we create a new project in our dashboard and we create a new blank site because uh, unlike with uh, all other uh, website templates we are not creating a website page but rather a um, uh, technical application so let's just uh, click blank site and uh, for example well let's leave it create project so uh, here we got our online editor loaded and we start by adding the iframe element uh, of which we were uh, speaking in our previous tutorial so in webflow this can be achieved by going to the add elements menu and finding uh, a component which is called embed so it's basically like uh, embedding uh, embedding any code or youtube video so but uh, in our case it will be embedding of a verse 3d application so let's drag it here and it suggests that we supply some code immediately to our iframe element um, 
the code which we're gonna to supply is uh, can be found in the HTML based in user interface a chapter of the tutorial when we go to designer approach we can see it here below just select and copy it so that it can be pasted into this small editor so basically the code uh, is uh, is an iframe element with 100% uh, width and height and no frame border which loads our my awesome app HTML uh, into these uh, main HTML files of our web page so just click save and close and uh, for now it displays uh, 400 or 4 error uh, so file not found this is normal because this is a uh, this is a nor is an online editor and our files are stored locally so for now we just ignore this and uh, select this by clicking on this and go to styling we are going to make this uh, full screen iframe so that is the so this displayed in like wide wide mode to do this we go to size and here we can start uh, printing like typing 100% but before it's more convenient to first to switch to percentage because otherwise it will expect pixels so we go to switch to percentage and type 100 here and again switch to percentage and type 100 and uh, it doesn't change anything because we also need to uh, to change the t the type of flow of this element we will be using fix it so now we got 100% uh, wide and uh, uh, our iframe occupying the entire page and what is left is to add some buttons so we go to uh, well actually before going to buttons we need to provide uh, the source for well actually we already provided the source so I forgot yeah we, we already provided the source so it's okay so let's go to add elements again and here we get buttons so just drag a button uh, close this and the button is not visible because we also need to change it to fix it now it's visible let's uh, drag it a bit making some margins and change double click on this to change the text to high let's add another button uh, once again go to make it fix it again uh, drag it a bit uh, locate it near the first button and click on it double click and make it show so this is basically it with the buttons the only thing left is to specify IDs because as we shown in the previous video we will be referring to our HTML elements by their IDs uh, to do this in Webflow go to element settings and here we got ID field be sure to select the right, the right button so first we select hide button and uh, type hide button as ID well this is usually used uh, underscores we usually use underscores uh, with um, names of ID IDs of elements so better to uh, stick to this convention then select show and again type show button 
Uh, so we are ready to export the code of our index.html file. To do this, we go to this export code um, button, which uh, again is only available to paid account. So uh, please consider uh, purchasing this uh, tool before doing this tutorial. So we go to this export and here it uh, creates some um, a code for HTML, CSS and even JavaScript. And uh, we, we don't need to check for this code, but click just click prepare zip button and finally download zip. So it's downloaded, we just uh, open and see that in this archive there are three folders and index.html files. So we just select everything, uh, click copy. And um, in the app manager there is a convenient um, button for opening the application folder. So instead of searching manually, we just click it and it opens this uh, application folder my awesome app my awesome app and here we just use paste so it's pasted we got a index html here refresh the application uh, page see that index html is here run it and it loads our second main html file using iframe uh, the button's not working uh, this is because we also need to to do puzzles but because uh, but before we do puzzles I just let's just check the HTML structure of this document as we shown in the previous video just click F12 on the keyboard I mean press F12 and see that this is uh, links basically links these buttons are made as links and they got IDs just like we typed them in the webflow editor and we also got um, this element which is inside it it contains the iframe which is referring to my awesome app HTML so everything uh, works uh, nice and clear let's uh, proceed with puzzles so uh, as, as I shown in the previous video we just recreate the structure uh, which was explained here in the designer approach this structure let's do it quickly again so I'll go to HTML puzzles change to click and go to text add our id for hide button and add hide operator and cube and uh, don't forget to to make it in parent docs uh, as it was explained in the previous video so let's duplicate once again uh, make it show oops I deleted everything, duplicate, make it show, cube, and instead of hide it will be working with show button. So save and refresh and show. So it works. Thanks for watching. I'll be putting some links under this video so that you can try it yourself. See you later. Bye.